Hi everyone, welcome to this lecture. My name is Gautam Kumar and in today's lecture we are talking about the information gathering technique. So information gathering technique is the gathering the all type of possible information from your target, from your victim or the system you are going to hack. So generally we divide these information gathering techniques into the two parts. The first one is active information gathering. The second one is passive information gathering. In the active information gathering, we are just contact with the target or you can say the target system. So the target is also having the knowledge that we are connected to that system and gathering the information. But in turn of passive information gathering, we are not connected to the target. We are gathering the information from the other's resources or you can say from the third party resources using the Google, using the search engines, using the third party tools and from the other possible systems. So in this lecture we are just going to use some tools and techniques to gather the information about our targets. So let's get started. So these are the three tools we are going to use inside this video tutorial. So first one is the DNS NM. So the DNS NM is pre-installed package into the Kali Linux machine. It is the multi-threaded Perl script to enumerate DNS information of a domain and to discover the non cognitious IP blocks. DNS NM tool is going to be this explore the host address, name servers, MX records and a lot of information about the target. So let's do the practical demonstration. As you had seen in our lab setup environment, we already learned that how to install Kali Linux machine. So just get into your Kali Linux machine by just resuming it. So here is our machine. Finally, open up your terminal by clicking here. So type down DNS NM here and hyphen H. So you can see the hyphen H is giving the all type of information of the DNS NM. So what exactly it's doing? It's having the all options you have to explore that it if you use this handle it will give the DNS server for A, NS and the max queries. So you can see currently we are using the DNS NM version is 1.2.4. So these are the you have to use like as DNS NM and after that you have to give the options or handles. So these are the options and handles given below. So you have to just explore these options one by one. So you can see here there is a hyphen V that is verbose mode. So if everything happen or you can see the all progress happen will show you in the verbose mode. Even you can read the subdomains from this file to perform the brute force attack. There are the recursively also. So you can use the recursion and the brute force to discover the subdomains that have a NS record. Also you can do the who is using this tool. So you will get about the knowledge about who is just owner of that domain name, what is the address of that domain and contact details of that owner. Even using the hyphen E option you can exclude the PTR records that match the regular expression from the reverse lookup. So let's do some practical demonstration. So first I'm going to clear out the screen and after that do the DNS enum and you can type out the domain name here. So I'm typing udemy.com and you can see go above. It's giving the all information about this. We are scanning this domain udemy.com and these are the host address. So these are the given are the IP address of the udemy.com 
even there is another option that's how we can find out the IP address so we have to do the ping udemy.com and you can see this is our IP address of the udemy.com so it's same related to that given here and just close it so these are the white card detection using the this tool so even it's also telling the name servers these are the name servers you can find a lot of details about them so mails are mail servers are very crit critical to hack into their infrastructure so it's giving very critical information so you can see that's how with using this tutorial so you can see that's how with using this tool we can able to extract this type of sensitive information about udemy.com so let's try out some other handles so just clear out your screen and after that you have to give dns enum and hyphen h so see there's some options here we are going to use in this video so right now i'm going to just make the report of whatever the data we have faced from the dns enum because it's very important to give the report to your client that which type of data you are extracting and which type of the possible information you are having about the, your target so let's try out the reporting option here so it will be when you use the hyphen o it will be output the file and you have to give the directory here and after that the output will be in xml format so let's see so just clear out the screen and type down dns enum here and after that you have to give the domain name udemy.com has and i want to just output the data so i have to give i have to give the path root desktop and on the desktop i am just giving the name as udemy.xml so it will create the file that with the name of udemy and it will be xml file so all those accepted data will store into that file so let's hit enter and just check out on our desktop so go to cd desktop do the ls here so you can see here it is the udemy.xml so just do the nano or leap pad udemy.com so this is our basically that file so on this file we can explore the all all those options that are we able to find out using the dns enum package so you can see this is the host name and these are the all details are just listed out here those type of these are the data we had extracted using that and these are the email servers that were listed on our terminal so that's how you can create the report also so I'm just closing it